What's up everybody? It's Poke Trav, and in today's video, we are going to be going through a new PSA submission I just got in the mail, and I can't wait to share it with y'all. Um, it's gonna be a nice one. All right, let's jump right on in. So in today's video, we have two PSA submissions that I sent in for people in my vintage box break. So if you guys already know, I do two vintage box breaks a month. It's getting pretty insane. But now I'm offering a PSA submission. So if you pull a card that you really like and you want to get it graded, I'll send it in for you and uh, do all the work. So this is for... Not for myself, it's for people that uh, support my channel. So I love to uh, showcase our cards for them. And we're gonna start with this one. I believe there's a total of like 12 cards, I think. So we're gonna jump right on in and see what we get. I'm excited for this. All right, so yeah, we got a handful of cards here. And PSA puts these really nice sleeves on it, which is fantastic. I wish I could just buy them, but I don't think they're for sale anywhere. Alrighty, here we go. Because these aren't the original like Ultra Pro PSA. They're like clear and I like them. So first card up, let's check it out. These are all pack fresh, guys. All pack fresh, pulled by myself. Let's see the first one we get. Oh, baby, here we go. Hidden Fade, Shiny Zard and a PSA 10. Woo, baby, this is like seven, $800 card. Banger, banger. Starting off with some heat, all right, you got a PSA 10, I love getting some 10s for my fellow supporters. So we got 10 right there. All right, let's go to the next one. We're gonna check it out here, so let's see. Got a little white right there, tiny bit of white right there. Same right there, and none right there. I'm gonna say this is a PSA 9. PSA 9. Oh, here we go, here we go, nice. Oh, this is the PSA um, slab sleep, weird. So, <clears throat> PSA 9 Meganium from our Neo Gen Unlimited box, which is a really good grade. I thought this was 10. Holo looks really clean too. I'm trying to see if I see any print lines. I can't see any, but hey, I'm not a professional grader, so. But for me, the setting looks really well. Um, I mean, this card, I mean, there's a little nick right there, so maybe. Solid card though. All right, so we got nine into 10 so far. Not too shabby. Let's move on to the next one. Clean, 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 super clean. I'm gonna say PSA 10. What do we got here? Oh, it's a PSA 10. Brilliant stars, secret rare, rainbow, Charizard. We've graded two 10s already. Yeah, centering looks really well on this one too. So there we go, two 10s. Modern cards grade so well. Two 10 Charizards, there we go. Nice, I think this is like another five, $600 card in a PSA 10, so love grading 10s for my supporters. All right, here we go. Let's go to the next one. So we got clean, clean, a little white right there, and a little white right there. That's, 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 that's in the sleeve right there, that little, uh, yeah, little dust right there in the sleeve. All right, so I'm gonna say a nine. Oh, okay, we got a first edition Gym Challenge Koga's Drill in a nine. Such an underrated card in my opinion. Um, yeah, I think we wanted to grade this because it was. this is a really hard card to grade at a 10. As you guys can see, there's a lot of hollow to work with and get some, uh, oh, you got a little swirl right there. Very nice. It's a very solid card. Great grade in a nine. Not sure what the price value on this. I would probably assume a few hundred bucks. <clears throat> but nice. Koga B drill. 
first edition. So not too bad so far. We got two nines and two tens. Alrighty, PSA's PSA's being generous. So next one we got no whitening. A little bit of whitening here in like two different spots. No white. Looks like we got a little nick there. Again, that's that's in the you can see that's in the that's in the sleeve. Little nick right there. Alright, I'm gonna say a nine again. Oh man, I love this card. I was really hoping for a 10 in this. Alright, so we got a Rockets Zapdos PSA 9 first edition from Jim Challenge. Man, this one's really clean. I don't know, man. That's a little that's a little bit uh little much. Remember, guys, so you so just so you know. PSA grades on four categories, corners, edges, centering, and surface. Um, so PSA's 10s are not known to be pristine 10s like Beckett or black labels like Beckett. There's going to be still some flaws in them. Um, I mean, they're pack fresh. They're, they're not perfect. Um, but I mean, I guess that right here is enough to hold it back. To me, I don't know. I don't see any. To me, this is the, this is the Gen Mint card. But Rocket Zapdos in a nine. I believe this is going to be followed up with a big dog, the first edition Charizard from Blaine's Charizard. So let's see. So a little white right there, which is okay. No white, no white, and like the tiniest bit of white right there. So I would still consider that ten quality. Setting looks really good. Let's see. Oh, we got a nine on it. Oh my God, we got a PSA nine. Honestly, I would probably resubmit this. Centering on this card is literally absolutely perfect. I mean, this could have a chance at a 9.5 um, from BGS. I mean, the centering in my is a 10. Let's look at the surface. You let me know in the comments section what you think. I don't see any hot, any print lines. I don't know. PSA, it might be doing pop control, which is unfortunate. I, I may talk to uh, the person who got both of these, and BGS is only 50 bucks right now, and I maybe we can resubmit these to BGS if they want to, to get the 9.5. Because those in the 9.5 are gonna skyrocket. All right, here we go. Next card we got no white. Same spot. They got a little bit of white right there. Tiny tiny dot right there. It looks like a little bit of white right there. That may just be the reflection. I'm gonna say nine. Oh, that's right. Base set two chars are we pulled, but yeah, this got an eight. I mean it has. Uh, this base at twos are, are known for the print lines. You guys can see print line, print line, print line. Um, but it's pack fresh. Um, a well deserved eight. I would probably give this an eight too, just because the amount of print lines on it. Yeah. Still a beautiful card. I know my buddy was still very happy with this. So, first eight of the pile. And I believe that's going to make the next one the Blastoise. Same person pulled both. My boy Taco. Backs are pretty clean. I think this is going to get an 8 too. Yep, another 8. Yeah, just see the print lines. Handful of print lines. Base set 2 is, is, is... And look at that squirrel right there. Such an amazing card. I mean, I just absolutely love the hollows on base set 2. Best hollow pattern, in my opinion. Right next to the crystals. Alrighty. So not too bad. So we got two tens, four nines, and two eights. All right. I know what this is. These are the bangers. These are the big money cards. Uh, all right. So let's let's go for it. First card. I believe these are all from Neo Genesis First Edition. So no white, no white, no white, no white. Um, I'm going to say a 9. Oh, the Lugia! PSA 8! First edition Lugia, pack fresh. Um, you guys, if you guys don't know, Neo Genesis is probably 
one, if not the hardest, to grade in a 10. They are well known for massive amounts of print lines. And as you can see, this one has a massive print line going right up the middle of it. You guys can see that. It's like a double print line and almost like messes up the hollow pattern. But otherwise, it's a really clean card. So I guess that, that's what they gave the eight for. Yeah, but that's that's the big hitter right there. PSA 9, first edition Lugia in an 8. That one hurt a little bit. I believe this is going to be then the Typhlosion. Again, guys, Neo Genesis has like probably the cleanest backs ever, but their fronts suck, which is so unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to say an 8 again. Oh, the T17 with the 8. So this one had two errors on it. So, by the way, look at that. Look at that swirl right there. Look at that double swirl. Oh, it's so gnarly. So, it has a black dot error. So, black dot error. The centering of this card is absolutely perfect. Black dot error. And you can also see right here, T17 got shot in the knee. He got shot in the knee. Uh, yeah, see, he's got missing hollow right here. Or, missing of the car, which is crazy. Uh, nuts. It's kind of cool. But there are a few print lines. I'm trying to catch it in the light. You can see a little, very lightly print lines. But this one's actually really clean. Like, the the hollow itself is really clean. Like, the print lines don't stick out. And it's got a nice swirl right there. The hollow is nuts. Look at that hollow. So, I think they gave it an 8 because it's got a few print lines and then obviously the two errors. So, if there was no print lines, this would have been a solid 9 error. So, 8 on that. But, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Pokatrav. This is... The biggest hit from this return. This is a massive card, anywhere between seven to eight thousand dollars. I believe it's pop fifteen now after we graded this. But here we go. No white, no white, no white, no white. This card is absolutely perfect. And we got a gem mint PSA 10 Meganium number 10, first edition, with that gnarly swirl. Oh my god. Actually, you know what's crazy? I did not know this card had a swirl because when they sent me the, the photo at PSA, you couldn't see the swirl, but that swirl is insane. Yeah, this card is going to deserve a massive premium for that swirl as well. I mean, that is nuts. Perfectly placed swirl. Holy crap. So yeah, this is probably going to hit that $8,000 range, if not more. Let's break some records here. I mean, just because of the pop, super hard to grade. Look at all this hollow. No print lines at all and that swirl awesome so not bad we got three tens four nines and four eights um yeah pretty pretty good psa uh return hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button and subscribe we are so close to 1000 subscribers <coughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next one peace